is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and following with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and growling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. August 25th, pretty wild. To master love, you have to practice love. The, whole, the art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action. It is not about attaining knowledge. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 62, NASDAQ up 24, S&P's up 11 and a half, gold contract down $14.60, trading at 17 dollars Silver flat, twenty-three dollars ninety cents. Light sweet crude up a buck, sixty-eight dollars fifty-four cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down thirteen ticks, trading one thirty-three eighteen. The thirty-year off a full point, plus five ticks, at one sixty-three twenty-eight. And King Dollar, King Dollar gave it up on price again. Pretty amazing, man. King Dollar had a little bounce going and just couldn't handle it. Down fifty-three ticks, ninety-two eight thirty-nine. And now I, I get two voices. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, the yen, the yen at 108.98, British pound at 137, and the, and the euro at 117 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We take a look at the SPY out here. You could have a higher price, and we get lower volume. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep, it is what it is. So, so the bottom line is that, you know, uh, when we take a look at this, baby, Monday you had volume out here of uh, 54 million. Yesterday, 38 million. We'll see whether they can make 38 today. or at 23 right now. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100. It's the same setup inside the NDX. NDX had a huge contraction of volume yesterday. And let's see what we have going out here today. If we take a look at this, I don't know how that always happens. We take a look at the cues once again, and oh man, it's a contraction of volume again. That's this is pretty hard to contract this much in the cues. So part, watch this, folks. Thirty-four million Monday, twenty-one yesterday, and we may do twenty today. I mean, we're at fourteen point eight, but that's pretty intense, folks. Okay, meaning that when you don't have buyers, you know, the most of the time, what ends up happens is, is sellers can come into that inside the marketplace. And, you know, drive it lower. Well, the bottom line is we don't have sellers either. The gold contract. Gold contracts in an ABC structure on the way up. This doesn't negate it when a pullback today. It was pulling back. Today, uh, you pull back. We got 100. And, this is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, watch this. Um, so you pull down to 1874. You rejected lower price out here. You're pulling into uh, 156,000 contracts. You've done 157. And you didn't even get to the bottom of the range, which is 1778. We got out to the price point here of uh, 1784. And that's going to be all about the good old US dollar. So if we get over to the dollar and we take a look at the dollar, what you have is that this is a big give up on the dollar, man. This is pretty cool coming into the, um, the weekend. Uh, well, not the weekend yet, but coming into Thursday and Friday, uh, particularly because uh, you get Powell out here Friday morning. And so what the dollar did out here today, the dollar got to 93,126, and we're at 92,840. Uh, you do one more day like we had on Monday, and that whole uptrend is broken. So pretty wild. Now, let's go to the note and bond market, because the note and bond market did pull back yesterday with volume, and we got volume today. 
So the note and bond market's nervous right now. Uh, this is big volume too, man. This is interesting. This is 2.7 million contracts, folks. Um, they're moving this out, man. You know, so we'll see what happens. We've seen this a couple times before. Uh, that you did get the monster volume, but yet it was the same. Well, this was the replay of the last time, and we didn't get the break the swing on the deal. So we'll see how this baby shakes out. But right now, that, that's big volume, and that's saying it is going after the swing of 133.09. And right now, you're at 133.17. We go into the 30 year. We take a look at the 30 year right now. USU. No, USZ. Now, let's see if you. Now the Z's, yeah, the U's still happening. This is this is double the amount of volume. Also, uh, you get six hundred eighty-three thousand contracts traded, and that's monster volume. Also, so they, 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 we're mo we're moving down with some volume. We'll see whether it's going to go to the bottom of the range. Some of the higher volume equities out here in a very low volume market is that you have let's see, Pfizer's down a buck. You get Nordstrom down six and a half dollars. Micron is up 245. You get Nvidia up 450, and uh, let's see, DraftKings is up three bucks. You have uh, Dick Sporting Goods. What a monster that is, man! They come out with numbers, monster numbers, up 15 dollars and 72 cents. Let's go to Nvidia. It looks like uh, Nvidia, you know, split. And <laughs> this thing, you talk about a monster, man! Holy cow, this is pretty amazing. So now uh, we're trading at 222. Uh, this baby here, uh, we'll see how much more higher it wants to, how much higher it wants to go. Uh, this has been quite a run, though. There's, there's no doubt about it. In fact, if we go back, look at that. If you go back six months, you're basically up 100 percent, 100 percent. Now, NVIDIA, the next time they come out with their numbers is going to be November 18th. They are going to be looking to do 6.8 billion. And so check this out, folks. This is how dramatic N NVIDIA is. NVIDIA is going to be doing $6.8 billion in 90 days, and that's what it used to do in 352 days five years ago. That's about as much growth as you can... We'd all love to see that. Now, that being said, they're still growing... Uh, well, they're growing in the United States by 12% a year. They're growing in the rest of the world by... Five percent, five and a half percent a year. So you're talking monster numbers, period. Okay, <laughs> and it's like, you know, that, that isn't that number amazing, man? That is just absolutely amazing. Can you imagine that you own a company, you have a company that one, you know, you're doing six point nine billion in a year, and now all of a sudden you're doing six point eight billion in ninety days. That that is one big dog. There's no doubt about that. XAU, HUI. Let's go take a look at the XAU and the HUI out here inside the gold market. Inside the XAU right now, you're down to $1.75. You're already rejected the low of $128. You're at $130.27 right now. And we take a look at the gold bugs index. We know it's going to be interesting here. It's real possible that the XAU and the HUI just set up a small ABC structure on the way up. In fact, let's go to the, look at the GDX and we'll be able to get an idea. Yeah, it, it's good, man. The GDX. You're down on 14 million. You're up. You're up on that 34 million. So you're talking a huge amount. Now I can't hear the music, Al. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. 
The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 40. You get the NASDAQ up 19. S&Ps are up by 9.5. Let's go over to the silver market and take a look at silver because it's kind of int intriguing on the silver market. What you have out here is that silver traded down to 23.59. Uh, rejected lower price out here, and this is when the dollar was uh, up higher. Yeah, this is good, man. Silver's, this is a lot of contracts on silver for pushing into a swing point. So you, you have contract volume of 52,000. You're going into 52,000. That, that's a good number, man. That's saying that silver wants to break topside. This is pretty cool, uh, watching this whole thing shake out, because uh, when you have the dollar, so let's look at the dollar for a second. The dollar intraday... Yeah, so it's not giving it up at uh, well, right from the get right from 9:30. Yeah, actually, it's not giving it up by 9:30. Okay, so let's see. GBR. Take a look at a few stocks for some of these tigers and tigresses out here. So this is New Concept Energy. Explore produces non-conventional energy resources. Uh, the company acquires and develops mineral property leases. Uh, oh, natural gas. Okay, so it's natural gas. And the lows a buck, the highs thirty, and the bottom line is that they don't take in any money. This is uh, twenty six thousand a quarter. See, these always blow my mind when you you have a market cap, well, even it's nineteen million, and you take in twenty five thousand bucks. <laughs> I mean, think about this. This tigers and tigers out they would take in nineteen thousand bucks in a day. I mean, it's like really. Anyway, let's take a look at this thing, man. So, yeah, I mean, there's nothing here. I, I, I don't know. Bottom line is that if you, you, you're buying something like this, you know, you're, it's, it's a pump and dump. That's, that's the real bottom line. That's the way it looks to me. 
You have two employees, you know, forget it. That's the real bottom line. HG, let's go take a look at the, the copper market out here. What we have a copper. Copper is at 427 right now. This little baby came off the lows at the lower end of its consolidation. You're back in the range. Yeah, I mean, copper, bottom line, this is saying copper wants to get up to uh, 458. Let's go over and we'll take a look at Southern Copper first, one of the big copper equities. So that came off the lows. You did volume yesterday of 1.2. You're backing down at 374. That's a decent setup. That's saying that that's building cause for higher price also, no doubt about it. Um, if we go take a look at the Russell 2000. So Russell 2000 out here. Right now, trading at 22.47. And the Russell, this is what's so cool about the Russell. Now, this is what's really wild, too. And, but if you actually do look at the aspect of uh, all these different indices, you're going to see that the Russell did exactly, you know, bottom line, went down to the end of its consolidation. It rejected lower price. Had tremendously lighter volume, now wants higher price. Russell's going to try to basically break this 2256. That's how it looks, you know. And if, uh, let me go over to the IWM, which is the Russell, but it's ETF structure for it. And we look at the IWM, it's going to need more volume to break that top. But uh, bottom line is that that's, look at how fast it went there, man. It's pretty amazing. The Russell on uh, Thursday was at 230, I mean at two, 210. You're 223 right now. And, you know, if, in fact, the uh, material stocks are going to go higher, what we will do is that you'll see the, the Russell go higher. There's no doubt about it. Um, okay, so I got a question. How much do the major indices need to pull back to call it a failure on price? What happens is this. A failure on price goes like this, okay? that you get over a high, you close under a high, and you have lighter volume. That, that's, the, that's a failure on price. That's how that, that would work. The, the, I think the question may be on these indices. These indices, folks, have gone so far, so long with no volume. You know, there'll be a pullback. <laughs> there, there will be a pullback. And when there's a pullback, my take on this pullback is that we will get, like the Qs will get down to this uh, 353. That's where, that's where my head's at. Because what we got is this. The first time down, going all the way back to the 19th of uh, July, you got down into this uh, three, 352. Next time, you got 360. That has volume. Next time, which was just last Thursday, uh, we got to uh, 359, and you rejected the price. Each one of those still have volume out there, though. So when you, when you do something like this, meaning price and volume, what you're looking for is that you say, okay, where is the most amount of volume? Because that's when you take the supply and demand, put it together and say, okay, listen, man, this is where people are willing to sell down to. This is where people are willing to buy. And what, is, what has happened is that there's no doubt that the fastness of people buying the dip is just immediate. I mean, it's immediate. There's no doubt. And it will stay immediate, by the way, until there's a real pullback. And then after that, it'll take a bit because if, there's, if, if you get, you know, if, if we get like a 12 or 14% pullback, I'm talking about the ind indices now, um, there'll be some problems on the next one. It, because what we've had is this. We've had little, these little tiny pullbacks but you, you, you have had a few of the larger stocks pull back pretty good. I mean, if we look at Amazon, you're going to see, you know, this is, this is a decent pullback, man, what that Amazon had done. You know, we, we bottom line, you know, you went from the price point of, uh, what, 3700 down to 3100 you know, 600 bucks. So that was a decent pullback. Uh, I don't think Amazon's done going down myself. I think, you know, we're either going to test like the 3009 The 3009 is the highs of the lows that were generated out here uh, March of uh, 2021. That's, that's where they're set up. And that wouldn't be no big deal either. That's, that's, the, that's the other side of it. I mean, that, that is, 
That, that, that would mean a thing. Next time Amazon's coming out with numbers, going to be on the 29th of October. And what you're going to get then, so that quarter they're looking to do $112 billion, But guess what? What's going to happen on the next quarter after that, that's the Christmas quarter. And bottom line, they're going to be looking to do $142 billion. So you're going to be marching up to the place where they basically have their best quarter. You know? So you can see in, in the context of how, how long you get for a correction, not long. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 44, Nasdaq's up 24, S&P's up 10 and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is right now up 49. You get the Nasdaq up 28. S&Ps are up 10 and a half. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials. Take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow uh, so uh, point-wise out here, what we have, you have uh, Goldman Sachs leading the charge out here inside the Dow that's putting 34 positive points, American Express 33, J.P. Morgan 21, taken away from it, United Health 23, Amgen 16, Visa uh, 8, Johnson & Johnson 8. Uh, not bad. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's, well, these biotechs move around quite a bit anyway. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we got SAVA today. 
Uh, this is uh, taking a hammer, and there's no doubt about it. Now, the low for the year, if you want to see something that's really wild, folks, the low for the year, and this is uh, $2.78. The high is $146. Um, what is going on out here today uh, is that, you know, you, you have a high, first off, you have a high volume low that it's going to go after anyway, which is $65. Um, you had a, if you want to see something high, you can have a huge counter trend bounce. You come off the high with 146. In two days, you go from 146 down to 68, 65. Takes only five more, 10, 10 more trading days to go from 65 to 126, and then bottom line, basically, yesterday you were trying to get into the 123 with 5 million versus the 6 million. Uh, what you had out here this morning is that you had uh, an attorney that bottom line goes after just about uh, everything with class action cases, um, basically come after them. That's the bottom line. My take is that it's going to test 66 anyway. You know, no matter what, what, this is, I mean, folks have been listening long enough. When you get a high volume low like this, you get, you get it tested. There could be a million different reasons why you get it tested. You get it tested, and I expect that's going to get tested. Uh, you need a big stomach for that equity. There's no doubt about it. We're going to take a look at the uh, Microsoft. Let's see what good old Microsoft. Microsoft has been driving the NDX 100. There's no doubt about that. And Microsoft's not done yet, man. Microsoft... You pull back with 74 cents today. You, there are 13 million shares. You, we went top side with 40 million. It's a big number, man. There's, there's no doubt about that. Uh, let's go take a look at Nucor. Uh, so if you take a look at Nucor out here, Nucor is pulling back today. Let's did a nice ABC structure on the way up. This is all about the infrastructure bill. Uh, hit 125, you're pulling back with light volume. I suspect we'll get to the bottom of the range, which is 115, but that's something to keep your eye on, as is Caterpillar. Caterpillar, folks, uh, dear, they're going to be um, in a very sweet spot when this infrastructure build gets done. Now, the bottom line is that it's not going to be like the infrastructure bill gets done and all of a sudden, um, you know, these things are going to go to the moon. They're going to get a substantial amount of money, though, over the next three or four years. They're maybe more than that. Uh, so the, these are the ones you want to get on your radar. If we take a look at this technically right now, we have... So Caterpillar technically, once it got to this 199, which it did, um, did it on light of all, and which is good. This is, a, this is a classic, man. This is pretty cool. Uh, it's going to have to build cars for a while to get by the damage that was done on the way down. Because there's two days on the way down. It went from 244 to 220. Next day went to 205. Um, it'll, it'll take a bit. Uh, but I suspect that's actually going get, to get done. Let me just look at, I was looking at another one this morning that, we, that no one ever talks about, actually. Oh, man, what was the name of this? T-E-R-E-X? Might have been. Yeah, it's T-E-X, I think. Let me look at this one. T-E-X. Yeah, this is popping up. Yeah, this, this one here. Okay, so the low is 18, the high is 55. They're manufacturing, okay, global manufacturer of lifting material processing products, including construction, manufacturing, transportation, refinery, energy. This, this, this equity here, too, you get this on your radar because... What's going to happen is that this little number, okay, will get some action also, meaning some decent business when this, when this goes through. Um, right now, it's, it's had a quite a run, man. It's gone from $12. Look at this. Yeah, it's kind of wandering around, right? $12 to $50. Um, and how long is that? Well, that's two years. Um, and at this particular point, you know, you're at 51, like 47. 47 would be a decent place to go. Micron, let's go take a look at Micron Tech. Uh, Micron Technology, the low is a 43, the high is 96. You're trading 74.22. Okay, so this has had quite a pullback. 
Look at this, huh? Ooh, this is a little dangerous. This is a tough one. So check it out. The reason I say it's a little dangerous is this. So when we take a look at the weekly, two weeks ago, this thing went south $82 to 66 with volume. Um, that is, let's see if we look at this. No, it's not going to be an ABC up because, a uh, down rather, because what happened is that, let me just do the math on this for a second. I'm 85, 83. No, it's not going to be an ABC down. And the reason being is this, is that it did more than a 0.618 retracement of the move down when it did its counter trend bounce about four weeks ago. Uh, that being said, that uh, I suspect what you're going to see out here is that 68 wants to get hit again. That's how it looks to me. Let me put this on the daily. Yeah, that's how I, I that's how I'd look at that baby. That this uh, 68 dollars and 81 cents is going to get basically hit again. Uh, if we take a look at this in uh, revenue wise, next time they're coming out with numbers, September 29th, revenue wise, 8.2 billion. Uh, top line, $2.33 uh, to the bottom line. That's a good bottom line, man. That's definitely a good bottom line. Yeah. Um, and they, uh, internationally, they're uh, not growing at all. In the United States, uh, evidently, whatever, whoever cust who are customers this is in the United States, they're buying a lot. There's no two ways about that. Uh, you know, you're running, uh, what, 15, 30, 40, 40 17 they're growing by 17% per year. That is one monster number, folks. Uh, no doubt about that, 17% per year. Uh, we go take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at a few of the uh, gold equities out here. We'll start with Aneco Eagle, AEM. Oh, no, first I want to start with the GDX, because if, if, when you look at the GDX, all of us own all different equities. The GDX is a good one to look at. So the GDX wants higher price. The GDX, we went higher with volume on Wednesday, 34 million, pull back today with 15. That's telling me we want higher price. Okay, so now let's go over to AEM. Take a look at AEM. Same setup in AEM, higher with volume, pulling back with light volume. And that Newmont was and probably still is one of the weaker ones. But look at Newmont is all right too. This is interesting, man. Newmont went up with 5.2 million back on 2.5. That's what you're looking for, man. That's the, that's the real bottom line. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 68, Nasdaq up 32, as, excuse me folks, S&P's up 13, stay right there folks, come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up uh, 58. You get the NASDAQ up 30. S&Ps are up 13. And, folks, last night, yesterday, we had uh, our, the mayoral race in St. Pete, city councilor in St. Pete. Bottom line is that we have a, have a couple, uh, the first two in, in, in the mayoral race, folks, end up going in November. And those winners were Ken Welsh and Robert Blackmon. They will be going at each other. Uh, and then uh, the bottom line is that we'll see who ends up being the mayor. But right now, it's really cool. We got Marcio Powers. Marcio ran for being a mayoral candidate. We want to see uh, you know, how she's uh, feeling today. And we want to know what we, she would have done uh, if she's going to be the mayor. Marcel, Marcio, welcome to TFNN. Hi, thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So first off, what do you think about uh, Ken Welsh and Robert Blackman? I, th I think they're both nice guys. Um, I see advantages and disadvantages in both camps, but uh, I'm interested in seeing how the next few months play out. Okay. So uh, let me ask you, what do you think has to be done in St. Pete for a better city? Well, we have to get control of the sewage system. That's definitely a big problem. That's a fact. <laughs> we... We have to look at how we're treating our COVID patients and uh, talk to medical personnel and ask them if there's any extra support or buildings that they need to spread people out so we don't end up creating more of a contagion or allowing the virus to, you uh, know, mutate because I, of the high numbers on hospital floors. So you're talking about the hospitals? Yeah, there's a heavy concentration in our hospitals. Um, I had one person... Uh, she's pregnant. She told me she can't deliver on the delivery floor at Morton Plant because they're all full of right. mothers of COVID. So. Yeah, we, it, what's happening here, folks, is four out of ten people that are walking in to the hospital have COVID. So it's pretty intense. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Um, I, I look with your platform and included. A, let's talk affordable housing here. Talk to me about affordable housing. Well, I'd really like to see the city invest in housing. Um, directly and pay for the construction and then manage the renting of the units and then citizens would have more control gauging those prices and then that might take the independent market rental market down because the city will have um, more more flat rate on uh, rental prices sure you know it's amazing so so pitch this i i've been down here for 25 years in st pete okay but i'm from boston and mm -hmm. What ends up happening in every major city, you always hear the exact same thing, housing, housing, housing. What blows my mind every time, uh, Marcel, is that in every downdraft in real estate, the city could have bought the whole city. Anyone could have come in. In fact, I know for a fact Habitat for Humanity was actually selling lots instead of buying lots when they should have been. So what do you do about something like that? I mean, people complain about it when it's high, but guess what? You live here. There was plenty of time to, you know, everything was for nothing. So why didn't someone do something? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there were certain families that did things and invested uh, smart. I, I don't know how our governments really operate. They don't 
go into business skills like thinking like a private individual for some reason they have like a weird way they go into real estate bartering it's almost like to me they're just like giving away land for free for people to develop it when the land has a really high value and as a private citizen if i own that land lot there's no way i'd let it go for those prices you know so what you're saying is, I mean, because the only land that the city is giving away to is a nonprofit. So you're saying that the nonprofits should pay more I'm money? When they they bring in a, a developer to develop the land and, and uh, they buy out the land, they buy it for way cheaper than what market value would be. Well, no, no, that's not happening. I mean, there's right here, right now, uh, any type of land that's going, I mean, they get appraisals for it. Well, I just give you an idea. I mean where the new hospital is supposed to go with the insurance company, uh, mm -hmm. that's a $5 million deal, but that's not going to go through until it goes out to the public. Right. All right. I mean, yeah, it, that's true. it goes out to the public. It does, you, you know, it just that they kind of divvy it up for you and me. I mean, <laughs> that's true. I can see that. Yeah. But there are a lot of incentives for um, developers to build affordable housing, true. So. So when you, okay. so so let, let me, outside of the affordable housing, okay, s small business. To talk. Let's talk about small business. I know you said uh, the the bars. Is, is is someone trying to shut down the bars at midnight around here or something? No, that was earlier in COVID. That was like months ago when I was talking about it. Uh, Pete Bolin actually got uh, with a bunch of restaurants. I think that's what inspired him to enter the race is because for a minute Christman was talking about that, but there was heavy backlash on that. I they, see. For a minute they wanted to close down the bars at midnight, but you know, the the restaurants all struck back on that and it became like a big issue and they quieted down about it. So when- They were talking about closing them down at midnight to stop the spread of COVID. Right, right. So what do you think the, um, what, what should we be one of the first things that the, Whoever wins this uh, race, which is Ken Welsh or uh, Robert Blackman, what do you think they should do? I, I imagine Ken's going to win the race. And um, and why do you imagine Ken's going to win the race? Uh, he has such a, he got 40% of the vote. Okay. Already. And so just looking at projections down the road, I think uh, Ken's going to. So let me ask you something about that, because that's intriguing, because I know when I read your, the bio, you, you have a big concern about South St. Pete, and Ken Welsh has been a uh, commissioner for 15 years, mm -hmm. and South St. Pete hasn't changed. Yeah, I hear that a lot from South St. Pete, too. So that was... so, yeah, I mean, there's that whole aspect of it, and there's... I don't know. I don't really know what Blackman's proactive uh, solution for South St. Pete would be. I would like to see that, you know. What do you think the solution is? I think the solution is to um, take the money that's allotted to improve uh, South St. Pete and to put it directly into the hands of community leaders down there on the south side. And when you say community leaders, who specifically? specifically? Well, I know, uh, oh, they're running the market down there on uh, Sundays. Ramona, she does a good job. There's, um, I don't know, there's like Corey Givens. There's a lot of good community leaders down there on the south side that would, um, I think you'd have to talk to people and get more, get, Give more of a basis on like, okay, what ha, what has been your barrier of accessing um, services? Why aren't you like going to close to kids? Why aren't you, you know, why don't you know about these organizations and doing more communication and outreach? And why aren't you reaching out for services? Because a lot of times they feel like, you know, someone has, there's like gatekeepers that they don't feel comfortable going to. Yes, I see. Well, listen, um, it's a pleasure. Um, well, before you go, I wanted to plug my husband's. I see you guys are investors, so uh, oh. we have Kim Wood Organic Produce. Which, uh, go ahead, say that again. I'm sorry. We have Kim Wood Organic Produce, which is our produce delivery service, but we're working on building an app that will be like Logotopia. Okay. But, um, but on the computer with like an avatar so you can go to local booths. It's called Magic Carpet. So if you guys have any small businesses, 
logo to St. Petersburg. That would be interesting. Okay, will do. Thanks so much. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 60. You got the Nasdaq up 27. S&Ps are up 12 and a half. And um, these prices are going to stick, folks. That's the bottom line. Now, it's going to be easy, or it's going to be wild, actually, is we're coming into Thursday, Friday. Friday, 10 o'clock in the morning, Powell starts talking. His paper will be released probably 15 minutes ahead of it. That is the paper that will move the market at the beginning, folks. That's the real bottom line as to how he shakes out. My take on this is that, listen, man, not, not much has changed. What is intriguing here, though, is this, is that, that that bond market right now is coming down with volume. Now, the last time this happened, actually, the last... The last time, not the time before that, but the time before that, both. So three times ago, I'm talking about just any type of pullback. We came down on volume in the bond market. Didn't break a swing point. Last time, uh, the bottom line, you, you pulled back. It didn't have the volume. The, this time, we had the volume again, and it hasn't broke a swing again. If you don't break that swing, folks, okay, the bottom line, you're still going to want higher price. That's what's so wild about this thing. And we're not, you know... We could certainly break the swings, okay, but we're above the swings right now. And if we take a look at this 10-year one more time, it looks like the 10-year actually, you know, wants to reject lower price because it had every, you know, reason that it could go after the swing because it was right next to it, 133.09. It made 133.17. My take is that it's going to make that number tomorrow. We'll see how that basically shakes out. 
Uh, after the close, I believe we get, uh, and thanks, Jeff, for that. We get Salesforce coming out with numbers. Yeah, 825. And Salesforce, CRM, they're going to be looking for uh, the top line out here, 6.2 billion, the bottom line, nine, uh, 92 cents. So this is going to be an up quarter for them. And uh, we'll see where it shakes out. Uh, last time they come out, uh, well, when they got the, the downdraft in Salesforce, what that was all about was them buying another company. That's the real bottom line. Um, Salesforce has a high volume high. Salesforce wants to go for its high out here. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Ask them to go to YouTube. Search TFNN, subscribe, come visit Tommy tomorrow morning, kick you off 9 o'clock in the morning, great show. We'll get them, folks. Building wealth.